Welcome to DBMS and SQL practice. In this video, we are going to learn DBMS SQL commands. To execute SQL commands, we need to install MySQL using MySQL installer. A MySQL installer distribution includes MySQL server and additional MySQL products including MySQL workbench. Full process of MySQL installation is time consuming, so I simply going through the basics. Based on your operating system, download MySQL installer from website and execute it. There are different methods to install MySQL on Microsoft Windows. First method accesses internet files to install in online. Second method download files for installation. Here you can choose one of two options. Skip login and sign up. Click on to start download. One of the important thing is MySQL server requires Microsoft Visual C++ redistributable package and .NET framework to run on Windows platform. You should make sure the packages have been installed on the system before installing MySQL server. The package is available in Microsoft Download Center. Here you can choose full setup type to install all product and features of MySQL. If you configure MySQL as a service, then Windows will automatically start MySQL service every time you restart your system. You can complete the configuration process by following the on-screen instructions. All configuration setup not showing here. After successful completion of installation, you can see MySQL Workbench in the Windows Start menu. To start MySQL Workbench on Windows, select Start Programs MySQL, then select MySQL Workbench. When started MySQL Workbench opens, displays a welcome message. In the side panel, you can switch between MySQL connection, models and migration wizard. Our aim is to practice SQL queries, so we can choose the MySQL connection panel. The connection views displays a list of established connections. You can select one of the existing connections. If you wish to add a new connection, click on plus icon to the right of the MySQL connection title on this home menu on screen. Then open a setup new connection wizard. Here enter a connection name such as my new connection and click test connection button to check the connection parameters. If it is ok, your new connection is now listed on the home screen. Double click on this connection. This is the workbench ID, the graphical tool for MySQL. It provides easy to use interface for executing SQL queries. The components of MySQL workbench is, one is the side bar panel, that is object browser. It is used for navigation. Select schemas from here to create and manipulate database. And another is SQL Visual Editor. You can enter SQL queries directly and also execute the statement you have entered. Next one is Query Result. The results that will displays in this panel. Another area in the bottom of the screen is History output window. This panel displays a summary of executed queries. If any error, it will show here. Next one is help panel. You can check the syntax of SQL commands here. As we know, database is a organized collection of data. DBMS is a software designed to define, manipulate, Retrieve data in a database. SQL is structured query language, also pronounced SQL. This is used to communicate with the databases. SQL mainly classified into three types. 
data definition language, data manipulation language, data control language. Some of the examples are create, alter, drop are DDL commands. Select, update, insert, delete are DML commands. Grant, revoke are DCL commands. Let us start SQL commands. Before creating the tables for a database, we should create a schema or database. Connection name. In the sidebar panel, we can choose schema subtype for SQL development. In the toolbar, SQL tab is used to open query editor. You can open any number of query editors and switch between them to enter different commands. For this time, ignore other tools. To execute SQL query, one method is select the statement and click on the lightning symbol. The second method is execute put, a, put the cursor on the line and click the second lightning symbol. Now you can enter create database command. Create database is a keyword. My college is a user defined word. Our database name is my college. Then select the command and click on lightning symbol. The command executed. The output area is shows the status of the command. Use statement is used to select a database to perform SQL operations into that database. Next, create table command. The create table command is used to create a new table in a database. Tables are organized into rows and columns and each table must have a name and a column name, data type and size of the data. Here is the number is the data type in Oracle. Instead of the number, MySQL used in the. You can use my college as a database and create a table in my college database. Create table is a keyword. Student is the name of our table. Then roll number is a column name, integer is the data type, 2 is the size of the roll number. Name is another column name, worker is the data type, this is character type. 20 is the size of the data. Then mark in the 3. When completing the statement, you can select and click on execution symbol. After executing each command, you can refresh by using this button. Refresh the buffer memory. Here, the name of the table is displayed. Student. Next is insert command. Insert into is used to store data in the table. The insert command creates a new row in the table to store the data. Two ways are used for inserting the values. The first way specify both the column names and the values to be inserted. The second way only to specify the values. We can see the insert command. Insert into. Insert into is a keyword. Then the table name student. Values. Then we can give the value within bracket numeric value without quotation worker value within a quotation and there another value by using insert command first is row number one then second is row number two
execute the statement. Output window shows an error message. Values is missing here. And we can correct the statement and again execute. Okay, clear. The SQL select statement returns reset set of records from one or more tables. Select is most commonly used data manipulation language. The statement is select star from table name. Star from means all columns from the table. And execute. The query result area shows the output. All rows are displayed here. The next form of the select statement is select a column name from the table. We can specify the column in the statement. Select name from student. Then execute the statement. The query result area displays the only the name. Another form of select statement is select with where condition. Select the column names from the table name, then where a condition, where then a condition. We can give an expression. Here mark greater than 50 is an expression. Then SQL displays the row satisfied the condition and this is the name of the student greater than 50 marks. Can refresh to update the result. While executing the statement, update command is used to directly change or modify the value stored in one or more fields in a specified record in a single table. Update changes the value of the specified column in all rows that satisfy the condition. We can use an update command to change student mark update table name set set is used to change the mark mark equal to can change 45 into 44 then execute the command where roll number is equal to 2 the second row. After execution, we can check by using select statement. Then here the mark is changed. Next is delete command. Delete command is used to remove records from a database. One form can remove all the rows from a table. Other can add a where clause to remove only those meeting the criteria. Delete from table name. Student is our table. Where can give a condition. Roll number is equal to 2. Then delete the rows from the table. And check by using select statement. The row is deleted. Next, drop command. The SQL drop command is used to remove an object from the database. All rows in the table deleted and the table structure is removed from the database. Once the table is dropped, we cannot get it back. Then drop table is a keyword drop table then the table name student then check 
the table name is not here then my college table name is here is blank next here help panel you can check the syntax of each command here now finally we can conclude for more educational videos subscribe the channel thanks for watching